Yo guys, welcome back to another video. But before we start, I just want to say rest in peace to the legend Kevin Samuels. It's very sad that we lost him and that man has impacted our life in a positive way. And I learned so much from him. So, I'm just sitting here trying to understand why I look this good and I am this single. Like, I have my own money, I have my own mind, I have my own business, but I don't have my own man. Like, how? Maybe because you're crazy. Can't you see that? The majority of men do not look for the things that you mentioned about yourself. Because women like you tend to be argumentative and combative. And men don't want to deal with that headache. They prefer a stay-at-home wife who can take care of the house and the kids. It's the reality. No man wants to deal with a woman that makes the household and his life a living hell. Okay. So, as you guys know, I'm pregnant. 14 weeks now. So, I'm not with the child's father. You know... I mean, that's like a whole nother story. We'll get to that. But <laughs> is it okay to date while pregnant? Like, I just want to know, like, men and women. Like, what's y'all take on this? Like, because, I mean, it's some want to be stepdaddies out there. But do y'all feel like it's weird? Because I kind of feel like it was weird at first. I haven't started dating yet, but I feel like it was weird at first. Like, mm, I got a belly. You looking at me like that? Like, what does that mean? So, tell me. Is it okay for me to... I honestly don't know what to say to this. I'll let you guys inform me in the comments section. What a world we live in. I mean, you're pregnant with your child. Forget that man that you were with and just think about your child. But who am I to say this? It's none of my business. There are some weird mother that like that shit. I'm not holding anyone accountable for his or her choices. Because as I said, it's none of my business. Just be ready to deal with the consequences. It happens a lot with like women of color where we get this connection and then we wasn't worried about all these other things like your credit score, if you have a job, if you living in your mama's basement not paying no rent i also feel like women tend to give those dudes more chances than the, the average working dude why is that why do you I, think I that mean, because the that Locked just came out of from up north y'all feel like y'all could change them yeah. and with the that's working hard nine to five every day <laughs> yeah, like ain't getting no you know yeah. what i mean no respect or y'all basing it off what you should shit. be doing because you already know how to yeah. work and operate money and yeah. business you get what i'm mm -hmm. saying when y'all give a dude good. where don't have a chance a chance because they don't know no better and y'all want to control the situation Ooh. rather dealing with a man that can control the situation Ooh. but y'all don't want to meet them 50 50. <laughs> Yeah man, facts. Modern women have poor choices in the men that they want to be with. And my man is saying the truth about those women who can feel like they can fix those unworthy men. Listen, facts are facts. The truth doesn't care about your feelings or my feelings. But as I was saying, women do give chances to those unworthy men because they want to control those types of men. But believe me, those types of men cannot be controlled. They will do anything behind your back. This is probably gonna piss off a lot of people. But a relationship between a man and a woman is inherently unequal. And that goes for any relationship where someone is deciding to date their oppressor. Just like all white people have racism brainwashed into them, all males have misogyny brainwashed into them. And any male who claims not to be a misogynist is a misogynist. Because a self-aware man knows that he has it brainwashed into him. And any time that a woman decides to be in a relationship with a man, she's making a sacrifice and a commitment knowing that she's dating her oppressor. Almost all women have sexual trauma and emotional abuse trauma, literally just from society. And she's taking a risk in being with you and making a commitment to help you undo your brainwashing. Now, of course, I'm not saying that people shouldn't date the opposite gender, but a lack of awareness can cause problems. So that means that you are racist, correct? It's ridiculous how this woman brings racism to compare with misogyny. And she's generalizing that all white people are racist and all men are misogynistic. I'ma be honest, that's a poor argument from you. You're the one that feels like that no one else but let's talk about misogyny for a second why is it okay for women to have dating requirements that in my opinion are so delusional and men don't like it's got to be six feet tall and make six figures a year just to date you and the reality is that there are only one to five percent of men that falls into that category and plus you want him to be loyal to you only do you see how delusional these requirements sound and when we ask a woman about her weight just like they ask us about our height they get offended and start calling us misogynistic make it make sense please and then we can have a rational conversation like human beings please don't think that i'm generalizing all women on this earth because there are some women that know how life works and how things should be done and looked at i'm 
becoming afraid of my hatred for men. It started as a fun little... You know those TikToks where people are like, uh, don't make jokes about having kinks because your brain doesn't know you're joking and it actually develops them. I think I joked way too much about hating men and now I am genuinely in a sexist way. I... I hate them. Like in a way that a white man from Alabama hates black people? I hate men. I walk past them and I want to kill them and they aren't even doing anything. I just see them and it fills me with rage. I don't know how to stop. It's gone way too far. Okay, that sounds like a you problem. And at least you know that you have a problem. Again, bringing race into these arguments is not a good choice to make a punch. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some racist people out there. But here we are, the human race. And I think that you should deal with your problems and seek therapy. But a man won't know everything about a woman, ever, ever. Because we're like a secret book, you know? We only, we only gonna let you know what we know. And if guys are more like, oh, we gonna put it all out. If a woman says something like, I know how you sleep, I know how you eat, run bro. Don't spend another second with that woman. And she's just exposing herself. She knows how she's going to cheat, right? Well, I don't think that men would deal or be with you when they see this video. And if men don't date, that's because of women like you. And you gave the men one of the biggest reasons to not date you. I don't know, but I think that you like exposing yourself. It's like you're proud of it. What's that whole economy? If I'm Right. And he good and he straight and he right. got his shit together and stuff. Right. But I'm over here trying to figure out every day what the fuck I got going on, how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that. Right. And this, you know, he can call me every day to fuck on me, but right. he, he know what I got going on, right. but he ain't trying to help at all. Right. That's poor pussy management. Okay, why you right. fucking So it sounds like you have great pussy management, but horrible mental management. Because why the fuck? Can't you figure why out what you're gonna do with your life? Well, I'm, I'm just saying, like we're adults, why the fuck do I got to figure out I'm what you're gonna do? I got me. to help you get to a better position in life because I want to bust a nut? That's a hell of a responsibility. That's all I'm saying. You keep talking about them in the busy management is cool, but what about the mental management? You constantly f off. I can't figure my man and I just, and you just want to just keep and I can't figure out what my bills are. I just don't know what's going on. And I just, oh my God, and I'm in my boutique, ain't taking off like a dog. Yeah, man, I thought women believe in equality between men and women and that we are the same. My man here said it all. I don't have to add anything to it. Just be cautious, guys, if you deal with women like this who want you to pay for their bills and all that other shit. Nobody's talking about how the hookup culture is literally the most toxic place there is. So this is me when I was deep in this culture thought that this is what you're supposed to do in college and this is what's fun i would literally cry every single night because i was so depressed i was addicted to lust addicted to literally getting my fulfillment from using guys but then would go home and literally bawl my eyes out every single time it is so toxic but so many people are saying that this is like normal and this is like what this society, culture, whatever, that is what we do. And it is literally so empty. Like, I, I can't. I really can't. <laughs> you know what? I get the same energy from this girl and the girl that said men have misogyny brainwired in them. The difference is, this girl right here is acknowledging her mistakes, but the other girl is blaming it on men. Now, I don't know if she's been through that hookup phase, but I get the same energy from both of them. This is one thing I'm telling you, yeah, for real. You know women love to say, oh, I'm Miss Independent. There's nothing good about being independent, yeah? 
and being proud of it. You're basically saying, I'm Miss Stressed Out Bitch, yeah? Because we don't need men. Why right? do you don't need men? If you need your furniture moving, who are you going to call? Who's going to come to move it? A bunch of men, not a bunch of women with little flowers in their hands, are they? You hear a noise in the night, bam, bam, bam. What's that downstairs? Oh, you're going to wake up your man. Oh, go and see what that noise is. If the man turned around and said, no, you go and see what that noise is, <laughs> yeah? You look at him like, are you f***ing mad? Are you, are you for real? You're telling me, the woman, to go down and look. Okay, Miss Independent, go down and check the <laughs> noise in. Yeah? We don't need men. You f***ing do need men. The sooner women realise they need men and value them and respect them, the happier they shall be and stress-free. This woman right here woke up today and chose to speak facts. All of the things that she's saying are on point. I have nothing to add.